Hello my loves, welcome to this video. I hope this is relatable, I hope this is as real as it felt, and I hope the advice and the self-soothing words that really helped me um, helps you too. Please subscribe. Love you lots. Hello, welcome to the start of this vlog. I am feeling a little bit ropey because I've just moved into a place and change just scares me. Oh, sorry, my neighbours are just moving around. They're foxes. <laughs> I have decided to film because I just want to really make the most of today and I do feel like I can do that more with a kind of presence with me and currently I'm on my own so I thought I'd bring you lovely people along. I just wanted to quickly talk about feeling lonely and how that can kind of trigger you spiralling and you not looking after yourself and you kind of just being very still and unmotivated and unproductive. Um, and self-sabotaging a bit. I am currently like needing some company, so thank you for joining me. Um, I don't thrive being on my own at the moment, but I plan on making that something like a comfort zone for me. It's understandable to get uncomfortable with loneliness when it's been days, but it's only been a couple of hours for me. And do you know what? I want to be comfortable in my own company for a, an amount of time. I want it to be something that I don't fear. And I've really experienced this growing up actually. When I was younger, I used to hate being on my own. I hated it with a passion. And then I went through a phase of liking it and not being scared of it anymore. And now I'm back here again. And I don't know, I haven't thought about it deep enough yet because it feels quite raw, but I don't know what it says about me and my state, my mental state. But I do think it reflects some kind of weakness. And I don't think weakness is bad. It just, it comes, it's life. It's the reality of being human. We have our weak spots and my weak spot at the moment is I don't enjoy alone time, which makes me think I'm not comfortable with some aspect of my life. And when I'm on my own, it means I have to face that reality much more because there is no distraction. It's just me, myself and I, and my thoughts. And thoughts can feel like the enemy. The internal dialogue in my head can feel like this just really negative script that I want to throw away. Sorry if you can hear the birds, by the way, they're so loud here. I love that about this place. By the way, the place I moved into is stunning and I will do like a little um, flat tour at some point. Crazy. Um, I've wanted to move here for so long um, and now I'm here. So I'm really grateful. I'm just adjusting. And I'm very aware that this is very normal and I'm trying not to absolutely, well, I'm not absolutely freaking out. I'm just in my feels a bit. I feel very sensitive and honestly having you here has made me feel 10 times better. As I'm speaking, I feel, I'm feeling my body go. <sighs> but anyway, now I'm going to work out. I'm going to move my body. I'm just going to keep myself nice and busy today. workout done I feel so much better off the back of doing that it's so easy to self-destruct and stay in a kind of low vibrational state by watching tv lounging around but my god for me does movement do so much to bring me out of that that low state I've just had some breakfast feeling a little bit strange again um i guess because now i've calmed down again i've not got that endorphin high from my exercise anymore but it's fine i keep just telling myself that difficult times end i've just actually posted a quote on my instagram um that's kind of aimed at myself to soothe myself but i thought let's share the words that heal me with other people because we're all going through the same things we really are even when we're lonely, there's someone else who's feeling lonely for the same reason as us somewhere in the world. I do believe that. Sorry, there's a really noisy situation going on outside, so I'm going to have to end it sooner than I wanted. But follow me on Instagram, unless it's at the very. About to have my coffee, which at the moment has been really helping me get out of bad moods. I'm going to take my B12 as well. And yeah, I'm 
actually not going to a coffee shop until later now because I'm waiting for a parcel to arrive. Annoyingly, I really wanted to get out early. I don't know about you, but I'm the kind of person that really likes to leave the house in the morning. My mornings are really essential because they kind of, for me, God, that is so loud. If my morning goes well, quite often my afternoon goes well, but I know that's all a mentality thing and it's, I think because I have a fixed mindset on it, I think if the morning goes well, I'm in a good mood and I'm positive and I'm looking out for good things, so therefore good things happen. And I do believe you attract what you kind of look out for and yeah, that your thoughts are very useful in kind of shaping your day. So I do realise that when I say, oh, I've had a bad morning, which means I'm going to have a bad afternoon, I probably will because I'm in that mindset already. Just trying to be very self-aware at the moment because I know that my thoughts can be so destructive. I know that we all have moments where our thoughts get the better of us. And they're not even our thoughts, they're just thoughts. They are ideas that have come from here, there and everywhere. They haven't come from deep down within you. They've come from other sources. There are anxieties that have been put upon you, maybe from television programs you've watched or from your parents or your friends. Um, just know that every negative thought, every worry that you have might not be yours and it most likely isn't yours. It might be someone else's. And if it is yours, then it means it's in, within your control to kind of change that. So yeah, I'm gonna go because <laughs> it's so loud. Hi, <laughs> it's the next day and I'm still thinking about how I was feeling yesterday. I'm not on my own today, so um, obviously the loneliness factor is not eating away at me. Just a bit of, you know, anxiety and still settling in. I really quickly wanted to talk about how whilst feeling lonely can be really, really painful and it's hard to see it as being anything other than very negative. It's also this time where you learn so much about yourself. You basically have to turn to yourself, to stand up for yourself and to do things for yourself. And I think in the lonely moments, you lean on things that make you feel good. And then you kind of start a routine. And in the long run, you really benefit from having that routine and knowing those things that you can go to that really soothe you and really make you feel safe. Sometimes we neglect doing those things like exercise or meditation when we're around other people because we're so distracted and um, we don't need that comfort as much, but you kind of need that when you're, when you're on your own. So I think sometimes the lonely moments make us really vigilant with our kind of self-care activities and really help us in the long run, basically. The more you are on your own, you can either go down one route, which is to kind of self-sabotage, or you can think, I'll try out exercising. And if that makes me feel better, then I'll learn that and I'll incorporate that in my routine and I'll start meditating all the time. And then even when I'm around other people, I'll meditate and I'll just be such a better version of myself. I do feel like in the lonely moments, you learn um, how to truly self-soothe as opposed to having like a distraction, like hanging out with other people, watching TV. Um, you really learn the art of self-care and doing things for yourself. I really wanted to leave this on a positive note. The lonely moments are painful. They can feel like they last forever, but they're not forever. Um, as I said on my Instagram video I showed earlier, everything is temporary, the good and the bad. So the bad moments will end. They have an expiry date on them. And even within those bad moments, those lonely moments, you learn something about yourself which might benefit you in the future. For example, I learned that exercising is something I need to do because it makes me feel really good. And I kind of needed to do it yesterday when I was feeling really lonely because it was the only thing that was keeping me above water. And now I'm doing it on a day where I feel good and it's made me feel extra good. And also a bit more independent, um, not relying on others to make me feel good, which is 
true peace you know being able to rely on yourself to make yourself feel good not on others and other forms of kind of destruction like tv and social media anyway please like share subscribe my next video is actually going to be my portugal vlog because i went on holiday it's not really a vlog actually i'm going to talk about kind of the lessons that i learned whilst traveling around portugal but yeah look out for that video that should be coming up or well, that will be coming up next week i'll see you soon